On Thursday and Friday, a workshop on travel, lifestyle, and food writing will be carried out. And to tell us more about this, we have in the studio this morning, Teresa Tirona. She's the owner of Stram Events. Good morning, Teresa, and welcome to Daybreak. Good morning, Emeline. Yes. You know, for the longest time before, in 2006 thereabouts, I was having difficulty in finding a workshop that would teach me about food writing. But it was in 2009 when your company decided to venture into providing workshops That's for correct. food writing. That's correct. What was the climate at that time and why did you feel it was high time to come up with a workshop, particularly on writing about food? I mean, you'd think it's easy, lang put delicious. I guess because I'm, uh, <laughs> I love eating, I love food, uh -huh. and uh, well, top top reason is that I've I've been involved. Stram Events is actually involved in the uh, food and beverage industry since 1993. Uh, we were responsible for opening some meat shops all over the country. I will not mention any more names. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but my exposure led me to um, organizing culinary activities, specifically competitions mm -hmm. for um, student category and sometimes professional level. And we would go to the region provinces mm -mm. reach out to the grassroots. That's that's how I developed the passion for um, creating several other activities for the culinary industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, 2009, uh, the food writing workshop was born and we invited several other speakers to be involved and share their experiences to the growing number of mm -hmm. food writers and I'm sure you're aware of that yes um, all over the all over the country we have a lot of uh, what we call food, food writers food bloggers food and bloggers the internet. that's right yes. and uh, we also have those who are just passionate about writing per se mm -hmm. just what they call them they call themselves a the, uh, writing enthusiast those who would contribute in magazines or sometimes uh, probably the ones who would make your television script for, you ah, know, uh -huh. research those terminologies as yes. far as uh, that industry is concerned because it's not also easy to be... Mm -hmm. Especially um, if you're not into cooking that much, so you might not be familiar with certain terminologies. Or especially if you don't have a background on culinary and hotel and restaurant management for that matter, it will be very difficult. So with this workshop, even without that background, you can actually learn the basic skills yes. or at least the basic tools that you'd be needing yes. for, for a Food because writing. one of the, the, the one of the most important uh, subject matter taught in 2009 when we had this was the um, food research. Food research. Food research. Okay. There are a lot of ways or, or means where you you can get this apart from the fact that you can get speakers who are already seasoned writers, mm -hmm. accomplished uh, writers, who have already got. Uh, or, or have tons of um, ideas and experiences uh, with them. And uh, they carry this and are now looking for protege to be, mm -hmm. you know, to be food writers just mm -hmm. like themselves. So we sometimes look at that as parang kulang yung, yung department na yon ng food writers. Eh. But mm -hmm. actually, we have so many talented uh, food writers around town. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so with you, this one, somehow you, you, uh, the workshop helps to at least professionalize this particular style of writing. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the writers or the speakers that we bring in mm -hmm. each time we have the uh, sessions mm -hmm. for food writing. Okay. Yeah. Now I understand that you're also now on mm -hmm. the fourth series of the yes, power of pen congratulations it's your <laughs> thank fourth you. now thank you you're also it's really, not it's not it's not easy i, I would think so <laughs> but in, i mean but i guess it's always growing now yeah. i mean you've added travel and uh lifestyle, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. is this like travel and lifestyle in relation to food or it's totally s s um, specific for travel and specific for lifestyle well Emeline, we started uh -oh. in 2009 for food writing mm -hmm. and uh, i saw the potential of also developing or opening doors for lifestyle and um to uh, tr lifestyle and travel because to develop the open the doors for tourism mm -hmm. uh, promotions. Yes, uh, it is not also very easy for someone to be visiting, let's say, a resort or a restaurant for that matter, first time, and um, you're not um, you are not equipped with information, the right information, mm -hmm. or the right materials for you to be able to um, provide a good write up 
and promote that particular okay. province or even regional cuisines for that matter. Mm -hmm. So you have to have that um, right resources mm -hmm. where to get this, where to um, like be, how to establish contact or, or to even taste the right mm. you know uh, food. Is that is that from this region or is this from this region? Mm -hmm. Or yeah, you're right to establish the right contacts mm -hmm. too. So on uh, on Thursday and Friday, um, who can attend this event and how can they register to be part of the Power of Pen series? Yeah, okay. Um, they can register by calling our office. Uh, today, actually, Emeline, if I may just mention mm -hmm. on air, uh, we have a promotion. The regular rate is 5,500 pesos per head. That will entitle them to two days already. That mm -hmm. will include workshop materials, uh, meals for two days. Uh, however, for today, just for today, the 5,500 pesos will already entitle you to two participants. Right. So it's like a buy uh -huh. one, take one. Yes. So if you're interested, you bring a friend over. Right. Yours okay. is already free. Uh -huh. Let your friend pay for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So you, they can call us at 352-3187 and 927-7208. We have about eight speakers on Thursday and Friday, total okay. of eight. So whether you're a professional writer or you just love to blog or you love to comment about where or you, just you love went to, to. Or you just love so, to eat. Yeah, like me. At least you would know now how to express yourself yeah. in the best way possible. Yeah, you have to develop again your blog yeah. site. We are, ah, that's right. And you're, <laughs> going, you're also going to help those who will be attending on how to find a venue for them yes. to showcase their um, their writing. Yes, that's right. All right. We, also have a, we also have a writing competition. Oh, that's yes, right. Yes, it, it's uh, mm -hmm. the group called the Doreen Gamboa Fernandez, mm -hmm. Doreen G. Fernandez. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure you are yes, familiar yes. with the GF Foundation. Uh, they would conduct annual competitions on, on writers. So you can also check if they learn from the exactly. workshop. <laughs> That's how well. we measure it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Teresa, for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you also for this opportunity to promote the POP or Power of Pen. Series, series 4. All right. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Teresa Tirona there, she's the owner of SRAM Events and they're um, promoting or they are organizing the Power of Pen Series 4 this May 8 and 9. Now, pop star Jennifer Lopez has something to reveal and is Grammy Award winning singer Adele about to release a new album this year? Let's find out. First, these messages. See you in a few.